there was more than 300,000 witches were accused of practicing witchcraft in 16th century Scotland. Many were strangled, burned at death, stake. Between the 16th and 18th century, there were about 1,400 recorded public executions. The real figures are believed to be much higher. Phenomenon was laid bare thanks to Uni- Edinburgh's University witchcraft study, which catalogued where witches lived and died, the punishments handed down on them. Search has been brought to life thanks to internet map. Locations accused are plotted by the under- undergraduate at the university nicknamed the Witchfinder General. In 1624, farmer's wife, Isabel Young, was among those accused, strangled and burnt at the stake for witchcraft of her neighbours laid her ravely and officially aggressive and prone to odd magical characteristics. Two of her servants said that her oxen could speak. One heard one, one of oxen said, cry, Oh God, oh God, oh God. Another said the young oxen answered what was wrong with him. Court records show her husband, Jules, said he tried to kill her with magic after quarrelling about an unsavoury house guest. For the crime, was taken to Castle Hill, Edinburgh, strangled at stake until dead, her body burnt to ashes. Under the Scottish Witchcraft Act of 1563, both the practice of witchcraft and consulting with witches was capital offences. Isabel cases are just one of the 3,141 records of which Scottish witches documented but it, it, it was also a global phenomenon. From 1484 until around 1750, around 200,000 witches were tortured or burnt or hanged in Western Europe. Edwin, Edwin Andrew of Edinburgh University said the map was really an effective way to connect with the we are now with the of these stories of the past. A strong feeling not enough has been done to form people but women who accuse of being witches in Scotland. There's still this Halloween concept surrounding them. The idea of being able to plot these tragedies and that they really happen really be, what wit that they happen really happens brings it home. These places are nowhere are near everyone. There seems to be a growing movement that we remember these women and remember what I understand and what happened. Projects like this are having an effect on changing attitudes. Over 300 years since the witch finder area, villages in Tor- Torburn and Fife are actually seeking return of the bones of a witch who said her had burned a stake 300 years ago for having sex with the devil. Lizzie Adel is confessed to being tortured and, conf- tortured and confessing the crime and buried in a half dewy slab in Tor- Toryburn Fife in Scotland in 1794. She took her, first, her own life before she could be executed, but she still burned at the stake. Her remains have been snatched by a thief in the night, sometime in the 1860s. On September 1st, wreaths are laid in her memory by villagers and members of Fife Witches who placed their determination to find the skull and some of her bones plundered from her grave.